Hi guys, it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House Homeschool. Today I'm going to be sharing with you lots of different Montessori inspired activities that you can have in your home or homeschool. Now Montessori is a method of education that focuses on hands-on activity, hands-on learning and cooperative play. Now we've been homeschooling for about seven years now and when my two oldest were younger, were younger I would have have a lot of these Montessori inspired activities throughout our home and as they grew older uh, we would do less less and less. We do have a son that just turned four so I'm really excited to reintroduce these concepts and have all these um, these activities out in our home. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what what we have for my uh, my preschooler that just turned four. Okay the first activity I have to share with you I have a wooden tray here which is is very um, in a Montessori education, or Mon Montessori environment, you would will have a lot of these trays and you will have one particular activity based on a tray. So the child will pick up the tray out of, out of the room or wherever the, the space is, the learning space is, and then do the activity and then we'll simply put it back where it belongs. So this activity, now we actually, I did receive this as a gift from a family member I uh, put this on my son's wish list for Christmas and we, we got it as a gift. But this is a total, de you can do this on your own. If you take the time, like about an hour out of your day, you can completely make this on your own. But I will leave links for everything that I have out here. Uh, if I do have a link for it, I will leave it on, uh, or I'll leave it in the description box below. But these are basically just paint swatches. You can get at the, you know, you can order from or on online, or you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, and get all the swatches. Like I said, we did get this; it was already made for us that we bought online or got as a gift. But you have clothespins, and then you match the child matches the um, the clothespin that has the corresponding uh, color to the to the color on the swatch. So in this case, uh, they would do this and then you just keep going. Again, self-guided self learning for the child and it's wonderful too if you homeschool and you have, um, you have older children to teach or even, you know, you're just a multiple family, multiple children household for, help, for homeschooling. These kind of things are wonderful and um, you can, you know, they can really spend some time on, on this, which is good for them and it's good for you. Okay, so the next one we got as a gift as well. I put this on my child's wish list, but there's a, a tray, a wooden tray here, and there's all these little locks that you can get completely, you know, you can do this on your own too. Um, just buy little locks of various kinds, and the child just practices unlocking these locks. And again, everything stays on this tray, and there's nothing, you know, it, 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 this shouldn't leave, the lock shouldn't leave um, and be used around the house. If you want a lock for the child to play with on its own, then that's fine, but these, it's all meant just to stay on the tray and then put back when it's, when it's finished. Um, but there's all various, various types of locks here. Um, but this is really good for fine, fine motor skills. And I need to get glasses, I can really see. But just different types of locks. The, the more variety, the better. And the next one we also got online. I'll leave the link down below, but you have these flashcards. And again, again a wooden tray. We've got, um, and I think I might laminate these. They're good, they're pretty durable, but I still might laminate, laminate these because we have, uh, we do have a one year old and I wanna make these last. But, um, you have these flash cards here, just simple words that have the spelling of what the picture is. So you have pie, tree, and then we have wooden blocks. But again, you just put, um, put the flash card right there. And then this one seems to hide the spelling. So uh, maybe to challenge the child a little bit, but it has blocks uh, or spaces for where the blocks go and each block has a letter on there and the child will try to spell the, you know, whatever's on the, the card. And this comes with a lot of cards too. There's quite a bit. So simple three letter, four letter at the most. Okay, so the next one I have is a Melissa and Doug product. So a lot of their stuff too is kind of Montessori inspired, it seems, it seems to me. Not all of it, but this came just how it is. So you have a wooden tray again, and then you have these um, flashcard 
type of things, but they're wooden, which is nice. And then you have just words, cat, dog, frog, sock. Um, and then these, you, they just match the, uh, the letter to the letter on the flashcard. So this would be a little bit more easier than this, this other one where the letters are hidden. So again, this is, this is a very Montessori inspired uh, learning activity right here. So another similar activity are uh, just the tray. Again, I have a basket of letters, of wooden letters. I got this on Amazon. And these are um, almost like cardstock type of paper but you have different little, you know, animals and then you're learning about numbers and letters. So again, it's pretty much like one activity in one box. Another thing I, that, I, that I have done in the past though, a, a DIY Montessori activity um, is one of my favorites was you get rocks from outside. You can have the child go out and pick out rocks him or herself. And then you put them on the on a tray and then you get a little bowl of water. You might want to put like a little rag down underneath it. And then a uh, like a toothbrush or a scrub scrubber of some kind and they wash the rocks. So you know, when rocks get wet, they get nice and shiny. And uh, so that's always fun. My, my three-year-old when he was three, he really, really liked that. Um, there's lots of things that you can, you can look online and find so many different activities that you can do, especially in the, the, seed, the different seasons as the seasons change. So we have another wooden basket here. Now these are um, it's plastic, which is not ideal in a true Montessori setting, but uh, these, I love learning resources, uh, they, uh, the brand, and you can get, them on, get it on Amazon. But this is a muffin tin, and you have different colored muffins. And then you have different little tools that you, the child can pick up the muffin with. So this is great for, for fine motor skills. And then they come with different, different ones. So you have that, those tweezer type of ones, and then you have this little scooper of, of some kind. But there's discs here that have a color, and they have a number. So there's different ways that you can, that the child can do this on, on their own or you can get involved and kind of get them going and, and teach them what, uh, you know, opportunities there are with the activity and then they know what to do on their, on their own. Okay, so the next four are more Montessori inspired so we don't have the wooden trays or the wooden, uh, the wooden concepts, but I do have a plastic bin and one activity per bin that the child could just go and reach, get, you know, have access to and then put away. But I downloaded this online. It's just different letters that you can get. Um, you can do letters or numbers. And then you have the, it's the dot art. So for, we have A here, but you can do all the different types of letters. I did this was for free. I'll try to leave the link down where I, where I got it, but I have keep different <clears throat> dot markers and then they can go and practice go throughout the alphabet doing dot art. Um, so just a plastic bin here though, like I said, it's not Montessori ideal, but you know, you, learning is a lot, especially homeschool, is using what you have too. And this is learning resources too as well, but there's lots of, where you make uh, equal shares, you can make a fourth of a circle, 2D shapes, 3D shapes, there's all these um, little sticks and balls where they can make different types of um, shapes. So octagons, rectangular, rectangular prisms, spheres, so more math concepts. So I think I did laminate these. So yeah, just to make them a little bit more durable. Learning resources, I'll leave, leave the link down below. But this is great for you know, just building. They can, you know, they can follow a, um, they can follow a guide that's on here, or they can just simply be creative and start building their own. Again, you wanna, if you get a new activity like this, and you wanna introduce it to them at first, like sit down together and work on it, learn all the possibilities, but let them know what, what all they can do with it. And then that way, when it comes time for them to do their, their self-guided activities and learnings, they, they'll, they'll know what to do already. And they may need to be reminded as well every now and then. Okay, the last two is similar to the one I just had. I'm gonna bend here. And then these are learning resources again, the brand. 
and I did laminate these, but they're different shapes, different patterns. You have triangles, rectangles, and there's a bunch of them. And you have um, all kinds of these little mats here that have cute little, you know, there's a caterpillar here, there's suns, ladybugs, and then there's all these different shapes, circles, squares that they match on the little mat. So here you have a you have a caterpillar and then they would find different squares and then they would put um, you know the squares on here or whatever and it's really colorful my son does love this and even, even my older kids when they were a little younger we've had this for a little, really while a long time and they, they they really enjoy this but I laminated this just to make them last longer and then you can pass them down to your uh, younger children if you do have younger children and it ends up saving a lot of money. And the last activity I have is just good old Play-Doh in a bin where they can have access to, but we had sugar cookie dough. Like we have a rolling pin. We still have a little Christmas ornament uh, cookie cutters. These are real cookie cutters, they're plastic, but we have a little gingerbread bread man. And then these I got at Lakeshore Learning a long time ago and they've held up really, really well. Lakeshore Learning is, it's um, very kind of expensive, but the quality of their products are, are really good. So if you buy something from there, it, more than likely it's gonna last for a really long time. So great if you have multiple children of various ages. So I think we have some Valentine's Day cookie cutters. I'll probably put them in here as well, but this is wonderful for them um, just to get out and they can, you know, do it on their own and then teaches them about cleanup too. Put everything back in the bin when they're done in the bag and then they simply put it back where it was. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys have any ideas on, uh, on you know, Montessori inspired activities that you do in your home or if you have any questions, then feel free to leave that in the comment section below. And I'm hoping to post once a week. I don't know the exact day that I'll be posting, but I'm hoping to post. It's a new channel, brand new channel. So I'm hoping to do a, a once a week after the, the new year, but we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.